Well, there's an amphipod cruising around there. This tank we put together last week for my Friday upload. Good to see it crawling around. And I just noticed something else. There it is, crawling up the side of the tank. Can't really get it in focus too well here, but there's a snail that is cleaning the sidewall of the tank. Didn't know it was in there, wanted to actually include a few snails, so I'm very happy to see that it's showed up. So in today's video, we're going to take a trip from where I live here in Portland, Oregon, here in the Willamette Valley, or at the northern edge, sort of nestled between two mountain ranges. And we're going to go up into the mountains on our east. It's called the Cascade Range. Uh, Mount Hood, you will see in the video, is one of our most iconic uh, Oregon landmarks. And then we're going to go down the east side of the Cascades into what's called the Oregon High Desert, uh, into a city called Bend in particular, where I stayed for a few nights. And uh, you'll get to see the neat place that I stayed at, too. The Oregon High Desert isn't really a desert, um, you know, like so much of Arizona is, uh, compared to where I live here in this part of Oregon, uh, about two hours from Bend. It's very dry out there, uh, more grassland and sagebrush habitat. Um, I, I think they call it steppe or um, scrubland um, in terms of the plant diversity out there. Uh, they do get some rainfall uh, too much, just a little too much for it to be classified as a desert. But we here in the Portland area uh, call it the desert and it's always nice to be able to get out to a place like that uh, where the uh, landscape is just completely different. We have western junipers out there, again lots of sagebrush and ponderosa pines. One of the neat things about Bend, like Portland, is that there's a river running right through the middle of it. It's called the Deschutes. And you'll see people surfing right there in the middle of town on the river and kayaking and uh, paddle boarding, all sorts of uh, watercraft um, uh, fishing. So please enjoy the video. Ask me any questions you want to about any of the bugs that you see. Of course, that's the point of every trip I make is to get out and look for bugs. And you guys are always going to come with me. I'm never gonna leave my camera behind again because there are always bugs. And I have been lucky to uh, have grown up with an interest in them so that anywhere I go I can see things that I've never seen before and despite what things I do along the way in terms of where I stay and what restaurants I eat at and the people that I meet um, the bugs will always be there for me and it's just a real treat to be able to have an interest that means that no matter where I go I'm gonna have an amazing time We are in Oregon. See Mount Hood over there. This is Detroit Lake. And that's beautiful Mount Hood. You can hear there. It's a little trickle. As the cars go by on the highway up above. Now, these open, sort of sandy, sometimes muddy spots 
are where you're going to see the tiger beetles. And maybe they like to hunt in these spaces because they can see really well versus in areas where it's really rocky. Or maybe it's just that I see them better when I'm walking in these spots. Let's see if we can get close or even slightly close to one of these tiger beetles. See it right there crawling across the ground. It might be the closest we get. Day active hunters. There's an Oregon tiger beetle. See that it's elytra, those wing covers are just slightly apart. We're doing pretty good here. Cisandella oregana, I believe. After being stuck inside for so many weeks, Nice to be out here. Fresh air. I'm just surrounded by beautiful scenery. Easy to forget for a few moments. Everything that's going on in the cities. bit of it with me though wherever I go. These two birds social distancing. <laughs> I wonder if in the next day or two I'll be able to forget completely if I spend enough time out here. So many little springtails down here at the water's edge. spider out hunting. Another spider crawls by. They're still there. Yep. A couple little beetles here under the rocks. They're paler legs. Ground beetles. Family Carabidae. Gorgeous little stink bug. Don't see too many of these. Can't remember what the genus is. It starts with a Z, I think. But what a pretty stink bug. Yeah. Oh, wait, he's cleaning himself. There on the surface of the water. I've never seen that little guy before. Yeah, give him a little tap. Oh, he's on the rock now. What kind of spider is that? A little wolf spider. See if we got some ground beetles hiding under this one. Uh, I see one ground beetle. Let's see if we got some ground beetles hiding under this 
Oh yeah, there they are. Tons of them. They went scattering. Another little slice of Oregon. Some forest fires torn through here. On our way from the Willamette Valley through the West Cascade Mountain Range. A little windy out here for a bug. Carpenter ant. The carpenter ant colony. And this stump. Oh, tons of them crawling in there in that crevice. It's neat to see these things in their native habitat, natural areas. Red and black. So, I think I have discovered a pit, a pit, a pit. Nice. About that big, and yes, I think they are ant lions. That ant lion has to be right there in the middle. There it is, right there, antlion larva. I do have an antlion video. Compare them to the Sarlacc pit monster. So 
I'll put a card for that right up here. So I just flipped this log and we've got some red and black carpenter ants down here. Oh, well, there's a mass of them right there, the underside of the log. Queen must be around here somewhere. Interesting that they are not under the ground. They don't appear to be. And then just very nearby here appears to be another kind of ant. You ant people, help us out here. Just barely saw this out of the corner of my eye, and the first thing that I thought of was oil beetle. But instead, we have out here on this small sagebrush a darkling beetle. Just hanging out here on the stem. Maybe coming up here to take a little drink. You know, this is sagebrush because it has these little leaves of three. This is interesting, some kind of tent caterpillar or something. A little mass of larvae, the dark center there. And the rest out crawling around here on this sagebrush again. Pretty good life. Be a worthy gig beetle. Even a hot knife doesn't move through butter that quick. So effortless. Oh, that one was being chased by a water strider for a moment. So much moving around on the surface, under the surface. Missing a leg. It's a pet longish, and it does look tiny, like a little monkey. It's so tiny. <gasps> it's like a little skate. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. There oh. you are. They're so cute. Oh, it's gone. So fast. Oh, that was adorable. It's a 
fun little game we're playing here. Dug this up. I saw these holes here. Weird fungus. And I dug this one out of the ground. Definitely a fungus. So strange. Down the old hatch. It smells like fungus. Concludes all of my research on that topic. As I walk along here, I just swipe these flying insects out of the air with my dollar store net. Pretty impressive set of mandibles on this little longhorn beetle. So I was able to get this little guy in the net just a moment ago. See the metallic abdomen this tiger beetle, and it's giving me a little nibble there. Gorgeous, I'm gonna have to send a photo of this to Jesse Ray before I let it go. Well, actually, I think I'll save it for him in case it's one of the few species that he hasn't found for his collection yet. Little fallen bird ants, maybe two species there, finding it, putting it away, maybe a third species over there too, small. It's just filming that dead bird took a few steps and here the greenest not sure how to say the name of the genus, so I will say Dishalonyx scarab beetle. Just telling a friend the other day, we don't see too many scarabs up here. Size reference, but metallic green sheen on this one. Ones that I see in my backyard in Portland, definitely more of a gold coloration. And this one has a reddish orange head and pronotum too. Well, now I have two of them. I was just getting the one out of my net and saw another one flying a short distance away. I think that might be a male there, a female, a little larger, a little darker. Just a postcard. These beautiful lava rocks. Here's a fun little thing. I put a lot of time into a video like this. Each one of these is an individual clip that I took and had to arrange and edit, sometimes adjusting the sound down here when certain clips are too loud. It takes me pretty much an entire day to do that sort of thing. And check this out back here. Oh, come on. There's a rainbow out over there. Oh, there it is. Let me see it. Isn't that pretty? Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up and please subscribe and hit the little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media Thank you for watching.